Hey everyone, Nate here again with another Procreate tutorial on finger gestures or gestures. Um, yeah, there are a bunch. Uh, I only use a couple, but uh, go ahead and cover uh, as many as I know. Here, um, there's the first one, which is pretty simple. It's a one finger gesture, and of course, it's called painting look at that all right sweet so I just painted some awesome uh, I don't know explosion scene here and uh, I want to zoom in to add more detail all you gotta do for zoom in is you just take your fingers uh, together and pinch outward or I guess uh, spread your fingers apart on the canvas and it'll zoom in um, if you want to zoom out it is the opposite and you pinch your fingers closer and you can zoom out. I use this all the time uh, for detail uh, work, especially like when it comes to line work and stuff like that. I like to get in there and make sure that I get it exactly how I want it. Um, another one is, uh, say you are zoomed all the way in and you're like, wow, that's amazing. Anyways, you're working at that level. Um, you can actually, instead of pinching, oh, whoops, I just did it by accident. Instead of just pinching, keep pinching in, or uh, pinching out, or zooming out, uh, you can just snap your fingers together and lift up at the same time, and that'll um, bring your your piece to full screen or within uh, the iPad screen. Snaps your canvas out. Um, now, the next one is undo. I don't use this one. I use this undo button, but. Uh, it's there if you want to use it if you don't feel like moving your hand a whole two inches to the undo button you can actually just take three fingers and swipe to the left so that just undid that undid that undid whatever anyways you get Procreate gives you like 250 steps backwards see this is why I don't use it anyways um, so redo is the opposite of that three fingers swipe to the right and see uh anyways so you saw it happen i can undo that i could redo that um yeah so that's uh those two another one that i don't use at all but uh some people would like if this what if this canvas was actually like one of the uh what are the canvas dimensions actually let me just create a new one let's just use the regular routine but, uh, there we go so I zoomed out, I can pinch it, and actually I have area here that I don't see because of the toolbars. So if you like to work uh, at your uh, canvas, I guess with your canvas at 100% uh, of the screen, you just tap your three fingers, and of course it's not gonna work for me. Tap three, three fingers, there you go. You have to do it ever so gently, I guess. And that gives you your full screen. Um, no distractions from the toolbar from the toolbars um, and if, if you want to bring them back up you just tap ever so gently look at that look how gentle that is still doesn't like me there you go so that's useful I guess if you get distracted by those items around the uh, or I'm sorry the toolbars um, let's see okay another one is uh, this one I don't really use but I can I might start because it's actually pretty useful, especially if I get frustrated. Um, as you see, that's all on one layer. I am angry at this. I could just take three fingers, swipe left to right, very angry, and then it clears it. So you can clear a layer quickly like that. Or let me undo that. And if you don't want to do it that way, you could go the long way, go in to tap your, tap your layer, go and clear contents just like that uh, let's see oh another cool one let me do this real quick so right now I have three layers I'm working on now I can go in I can click I can say merge down I could do that over and over again if you have two layers it's not a big deal if you have three four five layers that you're happy with you want to merge them all together you can just take your fingers on the first layer you want to merge with the last layer, pinch them together, 
and it is merged. This one's actually pretty cool. Um, if you want to create a layer, you can go like that. Pinch your fingers outward. I usually hit the plus button. Um, but I guess if you want it in a specific spot, you could tell I want these layers separate. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let me just merge those with a simple finger swipe. All right, so let's see. Oh, all right. This one, this one I like a lot. It's uh, the cut, copy, and paste uh, finger movement. Uh, let's see. Let's say I want to select just this little guy here. All right, so that is selected, uh, and you can see that. Um, three finger swipe down will bring up the cut copy paste menu. I want to copy that and I want to paste that. Bam! Goes in there. New layer. I just use one finger and move it where I want it. And or if I want to rotate it. I mean all the same gestures. Of course this isn't zooming. This is actually changing the, the size of it so you gotta be careful with that. Um, yeah and then I just hit that and it's there. Now, since that's on the clipboard or saved, I can just do this again. Pull my three fingers down, hit paste, and there is another copy. I am awesome at this, by the way. There you go. Oh, man, right when I said I'm awesome. Okay, so, cut, copy, paste. Let's see. Oh, this one I use all the time. Locking transparency or locking alpha. Just take, open up your layers menu. Whatever layer you want to work on uh, that you want to lock transparency, you just one finger swipe over. That was not supposed to happen. One finger swipe over, and you'll see there's blue um, L brackets around uh, the corner of the layer. So now this, uh, the contents of this layer are locked. I'm sorry, the transparency is locked. So anything that is not transparent prior to locking it. I can paint on. Amazing. I use this all the time for like shading. Um, and yeah, or messing with the. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, what, gah, er, there you go. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. It's probably. I don't know. I hope you guys don't get annoyed by this one, but I'm not trying to shoot this uh, tutorial again. So. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you like it. If you don't, don't let me know because don't be rude. Um, yeah, but check me out on Facebook and check me out on DeviantArt. Uh, all my information is at the bottom. It'll be in the description. So thanks for watching.